Known for his melodic purity and insight into the heart, the very humble Ron Sexsmith is once again on the road. Playing in intimate settings, he mixes his shows with classic songs and new ones from his latest album, Long Player, Late Bloomer. His voice isn't the only thing getting all the attention. Sexsmith was nominated at the Junos for Songwriter of the Year. When you're a songwriter, that's sort of the, uh, that's what you're most proud of in a way, you know. And also, uh, it's kind of how um, a lot of us songwriters make money when someone who actually sells a lot of records, unlike me, would they do your song, then, then you know, that's, you kind of make your living doing that, you know. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that, it's starting to happen more as I get older, the more people are doing my songs and or more TV shows are using them and stuff like that. So that's, uh, yeah, that's sort of the icing on the cake, you know. We've all been hurt by love, it's out of our hands. Whatever it takes, I think Michael Bublé did that one. I watched a version of his, and then I watched a version of yours. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you like it when um, they, they switch it up and put their own kind of spin to it, yeah. or do you want them to stay true to your no, the way um, you did it? Well, I actually I sing on the Michael Bublé version. They flew me down to Malibu to sing with him, which I thought was strange because I thought, why do you want me on there? I mean, you're, you know, Michael Bublé, you know, and it just seemed strange to have two guys singing a duet. You know, I thought it was, but. Um, but yeah, he did a totally different version. It was very like um, kind of Latin lover, kind of sort of bossa nova version, you know. And I, my version, when I wrote it, I was trying to write kind of like an R&B song, you know, like but an R&B song from the '70s, sort of like Bill Withers or something. who have covered his songs, Ron Stewart, Katie Lang, and Feist. It's one mighty portfolio. And he's no stranger to the stage, stopping by in Edmonton among many destinations. A busy guy, but not too swamped to see his kids. Did they want to go daddy's route and go into music at all, or are they not interested? Not at all. They're not, uh, they like music, but they haven't shown any real interest to pursue it. I mean, my son I, I really loves hip-hop music, and I think you know, in his teens and that, he tried, had some buddies and they would try to do rap songs and hip hop. And my daughter has a beautiful singing voice, but she's too shy to pursue it. Um, but you know, I'm shy too, but the thing is, I, th I, I think you find that most performers are actually, you know, it's just they, g they get on stage and it's something about getting that sort of, um, you know, the love back, you know, that sort of makes you wanna, wanna do it. For his 11th album, Long Player, Late Bloomer, the award-winning singer has paired himself with a fellow Canadian, the producer of bone-crunching classics by Metallica, Motley Crue, and the Cults, Bob Rock. Let's talk about the album uh, in 2011. Well, it, it was three years. I think your last album was in 2008. So yeah. there was a three-year gap in there. Yeah. I mean, what was the process like going back into the recording studio? Well, I was in a real sort of funky mood before I made the last record because I put out a bunch of records that just sort of um, didn't you know they came out and died basically you know and that that's the case for a lot of people you know I didn't even take it personally but I was I was in this place where like I don't even know if I should make any more records there's no one buys records anymore and I was sort of in a depressed mood and but at the same time I'm a songwriter so so I started writing songs and then you get excited again you get your hopes up and so I was in this place well who do I work with uh, it was actually Michael Bublé we keep talking about him but he was actually the one who suggested that I work with Bob Rock and I was like, Bob Rock, you know, it seems such an odd choice because mostly he's known for hard rock music. Um, but, but, you know, we, we sort of sent out a, a message in a bottle to Bob Rock and they got right back to us. They said that, you know, they'd love to work with me. And so right, right, right away I felt my, um, my state of mind shifting. I started to feel excited again. And we did this record in L.A. and, and some, some of it in Toronto and Vancouver. But... It was just great to be in the studio with Bob and have such great musicians surrounding me and um, everything was just, you know, I felt like a rock star again. You know, I hadn't felt that way since the early 90s when I first got signed. Following the release of his new album, Ron will be returning to the UK for London's legendary Royal Albert Hall. Kimberly Wynn, Shaw TV, Capital Region.